Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Espresso, where we serve quick, insightful, and engaging tech questions. I'm your host, Viv Rama, and today I have the honor of speaking with Mayor Sam Joshi, the Mayor of Edison, New Jersey. Mayor Joshi kindly invited me to his office to record this special episode, and we had an incredible conversation about how technology and innovation are transforming local government, from smart city initiatives to how AI can enhance civic engagement and public services. We also talk about leaders and youth involvement in tech. So whether you're a student, an inspired technologist, or are simply interested in how cities are adapting to the digital age, this episode is packed with all those insights. Let's get right to it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tech Expresso. I'm here today with Mayor Joshi, and he's kindly invited me to his office uh, to record this episode. So thank you very much, Mayor Joshi, for this wonderful opportunity, and let's get to it. So today we'll be talking about three exciting topics. The first topic will be Innovation Edison. Second topic will be the role of AI in local government. And the third topic will be inspiring the next generation of innovators right here in our community. So let's get right to it. Start off the first question. Edison is a growing and diverse town with a lot of potential. How is Edison embracing innovation in this, in this city? So we are the birthplace of light. And along with that innovation as well, uh, being Thomas Edison's, you know, where his home was or his laboratory was. Uh, we embrace technology as much as we possibly can in this administration. And what I mean by that is, especially with AI, we were the first to use artificial intelligence software uh, within our engineering department. And we found that it is very beneficial. So I'll tell you what it does. Previously, consultants and engineers would go out and they would rank streets on a scale of one to four, saying, what is the worst road? What is the best road in town? And we would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to get this information based off of an engineer eyeballing it. It would literally go out and they would just eyeball whether it is a good or bad street. <clears throat> now, we have software that goes on all of our Public Works vehicles and it actually tracks the depth and the width of every single crack, pothole, the speed limit, uh, how many cars are on the road. And it updates that for every single road almost every single day. And now we know in real time, or pretty close to real time, what the best or the worst road is. And that's how we assess which roads need to get paved. Oh, that's incredibly innovative. <laughs> when people hear the word technology or innovation, they basically expect a big change, like a, like a big a new building coming or a, or a fancy gadget coming. But basically, if you look back, it's not always about the big change. It's always about small changes sometimes mm -hmm. as well. Smaller and practical changes also sometimes play a role. And to elaborate, uh, sometimes small change could happen through faster, through fa faster communication or uh, safer roads. So yeah, th these are amazing examples of how cities using innovation. And I find that this is exactly what residents expect, expect from the government. And this is exactly what they love. And this is how innovation is actually being used in this uh, uh, generation. So this leads to my next question, which is about a, the role of AI in local government. Mm -hmm. AI is booming fast and it's transforming industries from business to healthcare. So how is AI use, is being used in local government? And do you think Edison will be able to use AI future uh, solutions in the future? Yes, it's uh, interesting that you're asking that. I was just recently at a mayor's conference and there were 350 mayors from across the country and nearly every single breakout session that we had, we were discussing artificial intelligence usage in municipalities, how we can use AI and how it's going to transform the world uh, within the next 18 to 24 months. Yeah. And it's interesting because what we believe is the way that the internet transformed the world as we know it over a course of two decades, AI is going to do it in two years. Yeah. And we are all in the same boat of whether we want to learn it and understand it or not. And because it's coming, it's here, it's, 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 yeah. it's here, it's being utilized. And we saw this in countless departments throughout uh, the US and how it's going to be used. So I'll give you one example for, uh, just an example, in the police department, <clears throat> right now, police officers are trained. They go through extensive training so that when two people or a few people get into an accident, it will, the traffic officer, even if cars are pulled over on the side of the road, 
you know, or they're 50 or 100 feet away from the actual location of where the accident occurred, they would be able to identify what took place in the accident just based off the dents, the angles, things like that, the speed limit. <coughs> so now there's a drone that we can use. Axum has a, the company Axum has a drone that we can use and it actually goes right besides both of the cars and the drone does a full view, aerial view, side view, everything goes through everything, every corner of that car. And it actually identifies where the crack happened or where the bump or the indent happened, the make and model of the vehicle. It factors in the speed limit of the road, the conditions of the road. And within about 20 minutes, it writes a full report for you on how the traffic accident incident occurred. And that is normally what a police officer's job would be. Yeah. But this can now be generated. The, the software for this actually recreates an image of the accident itself. Normally, a police officer would have to draw what they think happened in the incident. That's how police reports have been done for decades. And so this is going to be transformative because this is technology that we are now in Edison Township beginning to use uh, actually within the next quarter. Wow, that's actually, that's absolutely amazing. And at this time right now, I feel like a lot of people don't, absolutely, don't actually understand what AI is and how it's supposed to be used, but clearly the government understands how it's supposed to be used and how, and how they're gonna use it for the future. Just to add on about the, how, how people think about it, um, at its core, AI's main goal is to make everything go faster and become a lot better and more efficient. And if it's clear that the government understands this message, this is absolutely amazing how AI is being used in the government. And it's incredibly like encouraging for people to be able to use this, for re residents like me to be able to use this in like real life examples, whether it's helping a citizen or helping a local store, just like th this is just incredibly encouraging. And now, keep, now keeping on this word encouraging, this will help me lead to the next question, which is about inspiring the next generation. A lot of young people today are passionate about tech and want to use it to, uh, want to use it for the next journey and help the community. So what advice would you give to those young people who are inspired about tech and um, want to make an impact on the community? It would be to find your passion. Start with your passion. Find what you find. Figure out what you think is the most exciting to you personally and see what career can be found in that. Because if you love what you do, you're never working a single day. And it's important that people are leading through their own uh, passion and things that they are excited for. That being said, supplement that with technology and in the future or now artificial intelligence, because you'll be able to use AI to supplement everything you do. It doesn't have to eliminate your career. It can be supplemented and you'll be able to do a lot more faster as long as you are part of that change which is happening right now. It's important that we, especially young people, ride that wave. That wave is right here. We have to ride that wave and we have to make sure that we are part of that change and we're not looking back one year from now saying, I never learned anything. I never learned how to input an algorithm. I never learned how to use prompts, right? These are things that I don't know how to do, yeah. but I will because I'm actively choosing to learn how to do it. Yeah. Uh, this is a, you know, AI is a foreign language to me as well, yeah. but it's something that we are working to incorporate it in our daily lives. Yeah, so essentially stay curious. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is this is really inspiring advice and it really hits for people back home who are watching this video because when people hear the word technology or innovation, they basically like feel intimidated as if they need to create the next big, they need to invent the, invent the next big thing overnight. But it's not like that. Sometimes small projects or improvements could actually help you do make an impact on, on in your city. And this is clearly being shown here. Like, just do, learn learn what this learn what this generation technology is which is clearly ai and incorporate it in some somehow in what you're interested in, mm -hmm. and 
and just and just be a part of it and just do what you love, which will make you happy and succeed. So this will be the end of our conversation, Mayor Joshi. Thank you very much for inviting me to your office. This was an absolutely wonderful opportunity and a wonderful experience. And uh, thank you for breaking down how uh, innovation is used in the government. So thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.